that fish darts in the second pond, and I do not quite time my jump right, I'll get hit by it. It's a basically, uh, you know, when they say, like, frame-perfect thing. The only way to make it is to be frame perfect, and they love to have that fish start in that spot for some reason. I'd say it's at least a third of the time, where it should be more like 20%. Though on that note, it seems like the fish appear more in the center three ponds than they do on the outside two. It's the same thing with the, uh, with all of the levels where the fish appear. They seem to be concentrated more in the middle areas. So it probably isn't completely random. Because it's actually pretty rare that I have to wait to jump over the first thing or to jump past the last one on those sorts of levels. Alright, point one three, okay. Baby Land Park. Not sure if this park is safe for babies. You got your bees, you got your campfire. You got balls just being thrown all over the place. Snap trig twigs laying on the ground. Fairly risky platforms. Flying fish out of ponds. These little trampoline things with snowflakes falling from the sky. And you can get pretty high on those if you want to. Like, oh, here, here's a, a thing you can do. You can play in this pond. Jump on this lily pad, but don't fall, because you'll drown. That's pretty much right on target. Again, to input the, uh, the, the splits, that's me manually doing it. Uh, so sometimes I'm slightly off. I do it right when the bonus score appears. Because that's the most convenient time to do it. Plus it keeps me from uh, having to switch between the controller and the keyboard quickly. Whee! Alright, let's have a good 27, guys. That was not risky, but pretty much exactly how I'd want to do it, so I'll take it. Oh gosh, that wasn't too far. I thought it was going to be. I thought I made a mistake. Alright. Well, that was actually really good um, compared to the times on the personal best. So there we go. Three and a half seconds. Now, stage 31. Just fastly becoming most annoying stage, but... That was a little awkward, but we saved it. That was also awkward, but no deaths is no deaths. Let's go. It's too much of a height distance to make that. And now to not fall off the side or do anything stupid. Alright, so we are way ahead of pace now. Because I died once in stage 4. Plus I was ahead of pace anyway. Uh... Although I might have ate that and not dying and being more patient, but still. As you'll see, I didn't actually shave a whole lot of time because of all the patience I had to exhibit there. I actually gained no time. That's okay. That means I can still only really die one death here and not completely bite it. And it's right here. This is going to be my hardest challenge. Stupid fires. Stupid fires. 
Oh gosh, I did it. All right, we got 45 and then to 46, which is the hardest level in the game. Copyright. Trademark. So I gotta just wait for this thing to fall down and not have the fish block me. They did not. All right, we're looking at a perfect run basically here. This is what we've been trying for the whole time. All right. Did it! Yes! Woo! Update those times.